What are you guys doing? What are you guys up to today? It better be something really cool. Before we get started in today's vlog, I got something to show you. We got sent a couple of books. I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. This right here is a new book by Lee Gambin. This, this is kind of cool. And the reason that this is kind of cool is that this is the making of the movie Cujo. A in-depth, behind the scenes of everything that happened in that Stephen King film. Why would I do a book review? But this is special because there's something really special inside. See all those photos? In here, it talks about how Kathy and Bob built Cujo. Now, if you didn't know that, my wife Kathy and Bob, they used to be married a long time ago, and they had a company called Rourke Productions, and they, they used to do special effects. And one of the special effects that they did was to build Cujo for this movie. For some reason, they couldn't get a St. Bernard to slam his head into the side of a car multiple times. So they had to build a fake dog. Actually, they had to build multiple dogs, and they, they built a fake dog to fit on another dog, kind of like a dog costume for a dog. But there's all kinds of quotes in here from Kathy. It's really cool. It talks about the details and the things that they went through and not only building Cujo, but all the trials and tribulations that happened in the film. As it says on the back, it is everything you ever wanted to know about the movie Cujo. Lee has done a great job. Uh, thank you, Lee, for sending me a couple of copies. This is awesome. What are we gonna be doing with this? Is I'm, I'm gonna keep this one copy for myself, but this second copy, we're gonna be giving away right here on the blog. If you're lucky, and you answer some of the right questions or whatever it is that I come up with, you're gonna win a copy of this book. Ooh, money just came in. Nope, nothing wrong here. The Making of Cujo, written and edited by Lee Gambit. Awesome, Lee, thanks for sending. All right, let's get into today's vlog. Let's go. way up to North Malibu. I got my cool uh, uh, Hawaiian shirt that Kathy gave me. Uh, Hawaiian coffee shirt. It's the red dirt that you find in Hawaii from time to time. Now today is an interesting day. Gonna be a lot of fun. I got three different things going on that uh, um, I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm kind of excited about. As this morning I'm headed up to uh, to Starbucks in Northern Malibu at Trancus. to be meeting up with filmmaker Daniel Ralston who uh, if you guys remember in a, in a previous vlog uh, these guys were shooting a documentary about Pacific Coast Highway. I'm gonna get an update from Daniel about uh, how the film is coming and uh, you know what kind of timeline because uh, I think it'll be pretty cool when it comes out. And then also a little bit later today, we got a new car coming in. We got the 2017 uh, Chevy Bolt, the EV. And Kathy and I are gonna jump in that car and we're gonna drive out to, uh, I think maybe Calabasas, not really sure, but we're gonna go see Blade Runner 2049. This is Malibu and that's just how we roll. some coffee with Daniel. It wasn't really that kind of uh, situation where I wanted to vlog. Kind of an intimate conversation about uh, life and some things that are going on. So it's, uh, it's always good to have coffee with friends and talk about uh, strategy and how to improve things. I always enjoy it. I always appreciate when someone calls me up and says, hey, let's sit down, have some coffee and make a plan. But I also found out that Kathy and Bob are having coffee too. I'll go stop by and see what they're up to.
the Chevy Bolt is here. $38,000 of electric EV awesomeness. Hell yeah! And I can't think of a better thing to do than to take an electric car and go see the movie Blade Runner. Hmm. An all new electric car, baby. I know, I like it. This is really cool. The world is now full of electric cars. And we're on our way to see Blade Runner. Yeah, and Blade Runner is flying electric cars. We haven't quite gotten there yet, though. We could be. But for those of you that, that maybe did not know the story of Blade Runner, the first one came out and it took place in 2017, which is is now. Uh, we still don't have flying cars, but we have computers, cell phones, and things that they didn't have, they in, didn't have cell phones. in that movie. But they had interesting things like, you know, bowls of noodles, which we have. We have bowls of noodles. Yeah. And uh, people walking around in really weird outfits. We have that. Like you. Hollywood Bowl. This is a cool outfit. What are you talking about? Weird outfit. My first winter gear. <laughs> I know. It's so cold out. It's freezing. I still have sandals it's on. It's like 72 out. So we're going to go see uh, Blade Runner 2049. And uh, we're going to enjoy it. I know that. But it's two and a half Do hours. I have to? Um, you don't have to. But I'm going to get you some good and plenty. So that's a good start. Seize Candy is opening up here out in Calabasas, and we're finding out more information. Uh, Seize has been around since when? 1921. 1921. Seize Mary. Been it's good. It's really good stuff. Mary started it. <laughs> Mary. Whoever Mary is. Maybe Mary Seize. But we cannot go see Blade Runner without getting Boom. our candy. Stop bumping into me. <laughs> Kathy needs your good and plenty, and I need a box of chocolates. Isn't that weird? <laughs> he buys a gift box. Mine. It's supposed to be. Someone's supposed to give you that, and I'm not going to give you that. I am. I'm giving myself I the gift. I you chocolate from Hawaii. Where's that? In my belly. <laughs> but it's usually on sale for a dollar. Oh, well. Oh, gee. I guess I can afford it. <laughs> wow, the Halloween decorations are off the chart. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not sure that works. No? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you really need to try a different one because, you know, I mean, it, it's hard to change, you know, the normal look that you have going on. Uh, you should really try a mask on. I think we should look over for some other places. Ka Kathy? 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 There she is. Yummy. You know, if they were only that big, yeah. wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, look at the size of that chocolate. I'll take it. Why, thank you. Uh-oh. Caught. You know, that actually looks really good. Yeah, I don't think that outfit fits in the future. I don't know. It but doesn't it's... even fit now. Kathy's over on the other side of these rocks, back there. This is the uh, third bag that I'm uh, picking stuff up with. Find some good stuff? Oh yeah, really good stuff. Plus, the beach now is totally clean. 
maybe you live next to a park uh, or uh, the beach or a lake or something, you know, grab one of these bags, one of the bags from the grocery store and just kind of bring it with you. See some trash, toss it in there and toss it in a trash can. You know, it doesn't take much effort. It just sometimes we get a little bit lazy, but... Uh, fun to do, actually. Yeah, it is trash fun. Trash becomes a treasure. Yeah, trash is a treasure. I was excited about a beer can I could see. <laughs> Wow, what an epic movie. Unbelievable. I, I barely have words for Blade Runner 2049. Brings back to mind something that my dad told me when he was working on the original Outer Limits series, is that when they did Outer Limits, they didn't have big budgets. They didn't have the luxury of doing big special effects and a lot of that kind of stuff. They had to come up with intelligent science fiction. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, they had to come up with stories that that made you think and that kind of kind of brought you along and, and 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 made you, you know, ponder humanity and and what it means to be human and, and a lot of these things. And as the movie evolved and and got more in depth, I found myself uh, being challenged to try and stay up with it because there was a lot of things going on. Uh, it's a masterpiece. Anton Fancher, I think it was another writer also, was the original writer of, of the first Blade Runner. It was unexpected. There was a lot of twists and turns and things, and it was it's two and a half hours long, man, so it, it goes on and on and on. But the interesting thing about it is that you you never uh, you, you never really, you know, make your way back in, mentally into the theater. You stay in the movie for two and a half hours, and, and you're lost. Performances are spectacular. The uh, uh, the direction is spectacular. Amazing production design, incredible production design, very, very realistic. And it begs for not just a sequel, it begs for the story to continue in a variety of ways. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but the, you know, Ridley did the original Alien movie and he did Blade Runner, and they were two completely separate films. But the recent last Alien movie, Prometheus, made some ties, some actual ties to the Blade Runner universe. So in essence, the truth is Blade Runner and Alien are the same universe. And that's just the coolest thing. That's the coolest thing because there's a lot of time. There's about a hundred years, the gap between 2049 where Blade Runner takes place and where Prometheus starts. So there's about a hundred years that gets to get filled in there and they're going to do a lot more movies. I, I think they did a fantastic job. And uh, for what it's worth, Kathy is not a big you know, fan of, of heavy science fiction films and she loved it. I mean. She really liked it. Not a big review, but you know, yeah, you don't have to go in depth uh, to let you guys know that the movie is solid. It's the kind of movie that you're you're happy spending 20 bucks on to go see. Okay, switching gears, uh, we got Wheels and Waves coming up this Sunday. Uh, I know you guys know about that, but uh, uh, you know that Tony Dow is coming. He's going to be bringing this Corvair. We're going to be hanging out, and there's always surprises. I mean, random people show up. Anybody can show up. As always, we have the Red Bag of Doom, which has, you know, it has stuff in it. But this time, it's going to have some surprises. It's Halloween. Anything, you know, you put your hand in, something might be connected to it. There's your pull out. It could be bad. And this week we got the 2017 Chevy Bolt. I'm going to hang out with an electric car. I'm going to be taking it to the show. So if those of you that are coming to the uh, to Wheels and Waves and they want to check out the Bolt, you want to sit in it, you want to, you know, do what you do with an electric car, it'll be there for you. Once again, don't forget to check out Lee Gammon's book right here. Nope, nothing wrong here. The making of Cujo. Snake one on Amazon. It's a good read. It's going to be awesome. All right, that's about it. My feline friends and foes, thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit the like button. It's right down there if you like this video. Be sure to share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe because you're hanging out with us. Kathy's got an amazing dinner cooking. I got to go. We'll see you guys tomorrow.